Today, meet Cynthia. She's a powerlifting mental health advocate whose story reminds us to never judge a book by its cover. That's today's edition of Strong Women Inside and Out. Hi, I'm Cynthia Liu. During the day, I'm a technical recruiter at a major tech company, and at night, I'm a powerlifter and entrepreneur. Strong! But honestly, I spend most of my time trying to spread awareness around mental health and eating disorders because it's something that I struggle with myself. I was born and raised in the heart of Silicon Valley and there was a lot of pressure growing up. Uh, my parents immigrated from Taiwan. I was a B student, but that was not good where I'm from. So many nights just sitting at the table with my dad, you know, trying to get me to memorize things and it just wouldn't go in because at that point we didn't know that I had ADHD. I wasn't doing very well mentally and I also wasn't receiving the help that I needed um, as a teen. So unfortunately in uh, 2008, I tried to commit suicide. I am extremely grateful that I'm still here today and Quite honestly, that experience, it, it taught me a lot because I realized how much I hurt the people around me in that moment. And with that, I made a vow that I would stay alive no matter what, even if things, I'm sorry. Um, even if things got really bad again, as somebody who felt just so weak, I was really looking for something where I could feel strong and so, by, I guess, pure luck in a sense, uh, I received a call from a Marine Corps recruiter. Within a few months, I had enlisted for the Marine Corps Reserves. But I do think that experience really made me feel like I could do anything that I set my mind to. So after I graduated from boot camp and was a Marine, I felt so proud of myself and I was so excited to go off to college. Um, I actually failed a few classes. I felt like I was just failing yet again. I thought it was me, right? There must be a reason that these bad things are happening to me. I might, must be the problem. I started working out like crazy. I started doing cardio twice a day, wasn't eating enough calories. After a while, when like the weight loss stalled, I started like lifting weights and, you know, going to the gym even more. And it got to a point where, oh, well, maybe I can let myself eat some more food. And unfortunately it developed into bulimia. I hid all of myself from anybody that knew me. Anybody who looked at me thought that everything in my life was fine. I'm so used to being able to smile through, um, you know, the different things happening in my life. One of my friends mentioned like, hey, you should do a powerlifting competition. And I had no idea what powerlifting was at this point. I started training for three months into my first powerlifting meet. And during that process of training into this competition, it was finally the point that I was able to repattern my brain to realize like, hey, this feeling of being full is not bad because for a bulimic, that is like the most terrifying feeling of like feeling full because you feel like you just have to get rid of it. I went to my competition and I did really, really well. At that point, I was in a junior division and there weren't very many girls competing. So I actually broke some records at that point and I was just hooked. I never really looked back because finally I had shifted going to the gym as something to change my physical appearance to going to the gym to be stronger, to be as strong as I possibly can. And I don't know if I'd be here if I hadn't found powerlifting and it felt really good to have something kind of ground me and make me realize that hard work does pay off. To me, being a strong woman inside and out means that I'm resilient. It means no matter what's thrown my way, I will persevere and I will get through it because there's nothing stronger than knowing that you'll be okay.